How's it going and welcome back to another news slash leaks video. This is kind of both. I got the new game mode for you guys. That'll be at the end of the video and I want to talk about this new patch notes. Not much happened, but the year five season 2.3 patch notes are out. So I want to go over what those are. It was delayed. It was supposed to be Tuesday, but it ended up coming out on a Wednesday. And I want to show what those are, basically how they're going to affect the game. It shouldn't be too long here, but that's going to be the first part of the video. And then the second part is the leak. If you just want to see the leak, then I will leave a timestamp down below and you will be able to pick the video that you want to pick the part of the video that you want to see. Either way, guys, let me know what you guys want to see out of this channel more. I do a lot of tips videos, at least five a week, and then I'm going to add these news things, just trickle them in there. If you want to see anything else, though, I kind of like how it's going, though. I'm going to try my best to not make these news videos really long. I think there are a lot of news channels out there on R6 and leak channels out there on R6, but none of them just give you concise, short information. So I'm going to try to provide and fill that gap for you all. Before anyone asks, I'm just going to say it now. The new event is going to be out August 4th. I know people love to comment when is the event before they even watch the video. Just August 4th is, going to, is when it's going to go live. As far as we know right now, it could get delayed, of course, but August 4th as of now is when it's going to come out. So let's get into this. I'm going to start with Patch Notes, and then we're going to move on to the new game event mode. We're going to start off with the Year 5 Season 2.3 Patch Notes. So the goal with these patch notes is to get win deltas and pick rates up and try to make everything pretty even in the middle. So how the season has been going so far is that the win delta of all the common operators have been going up just as they usually are. Ash, Sophia, Ace, those are both skyrocketed up. On defensively though, Jaeger is all the way to the right at a 90 plus percent in the win delta. So that is something they're going to be looking at whenever they're determining how to buff and nerf operators. And then, of course, the ban rates kind of show who is overpowered at the moment. So Thatcher, Jackal, Montaigne. Thatcher's not really overpowered, but he is so useful in destroying kind of the whole meta. The meta is just a lot of gadgets, and Thatcher destroys all of them. So that's why Thatcher's pick rate's so high. But that kind of shows that they need to nerf the gadget side. It kind of gives them the defensive thing to worry about. So defensively, Mira, Malusi, Echo, two of those are gadgets. Malusi and Echo are both gadgets. There's Valk also there. That's a gadget as well. Now the problem with this patch note, it's kind of annoying. I don't think they really solved anything. Maybe they kind of can destroy some utility here with the first operator balance that I'm going to read off. And that is the fuse utility. And it's just not going to help that much. But they increased the total number of cluster charges to four. And it was previously three. So obviously they need to like find a way to get fuse's pick rate up. And I just don't know if this is it. The number of uses of his charges is very low. And that's kind of just how it is until they change something mechanically and kind of re work the actual gadget itself. Macy J tweeted about this patch note exactly this one, the fuse one, because he says it's not going to change anything. And I agree, it's not going to change anything. If anything, it's going to bring Jaeger's pick rate up and Wamai's pick rate up to catch the clusters. But until they actually physically rework it, like be able to go through a reinforced wall or make it actually throwable or something along those lines, it's not going to be that useful. For now, it's just great for destroying gadgets from above. But once again, that's super, super situational. Next up, we have the gridlock attacker. This is the second of three operator balances, and they have increased the deployment speed from 13 seconds to 9 seconds so the total time to deploy every single one of the track stingers is only 9 seconds now so that's probably good for her and then they also decreased her deployment time from 0.7 seconds to 0.45 seconds and added a delay before track stingers start deploying to 0.45 seconds so gridlock already had a pretty decent wind delta I would say but her percentage as in pick rate is so very low and this probably won't affect it too much but it does kind of make her more balanced Balanced. And Siege knows this. They said that this will not really increase her wind delta or her presence, but they just wanted to make it a little bit more comfortable for the user to actually use, which therefore should maybe bring up her pick rate a little bit. But this is just a minor tweak, just messing with timing and stuff. They wanted to make it even faster, but the test servers proved otherwise. So they ended up going with this middle ground of nine seconds as deployment. So I think that's pretty fair. I want to see how this plays out in the ranked category and topped ranked play. Because honestly, I think behind Nomad, she's the best at uh, watching the flank. I would just have to give Nomad a buff. There's only one more balance here, and it is Oryx, actually, and it is the Rema Dash. So whenever he goes through the soft wall, it does not. Yo, or, 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 not to bleat the entire dashing charges. And with that, the unified recovery time for after you ran through a wall or something, it's down to 0.5 seconds from the previous one second. So you won't be as disoriented right when you run through a wall like you were previously. So there's not a huge balancing, so that's kind of why I want to go straight into the fun part, which is the new game mode event. 
So in the year five roadmap, there is a arcade playlist that is supposed to come out this season, which already did is the attrition ga uh, arcade gameplay game mode. And now we're going to get the actual event, which is apparently going to be called the mute M-U-T-E protocol. That's what it's said to be. And it is definitely a taste of the future here. It's going to be on the map tower and there's going to be teleportation. As always, these events are always just for fun. So it's not like this is here to stay. It's only going to be a few day event. I could give you the actual dates here. Supposedly going to stay around from August 4th to August 18th. The gameplay I have for this is actually pretty weird because everyone wants to put huge watermarks of their names. So shout out to whoever I'm whoever's video I'm watching here. Don't know why you want to cover the whole screen with your watermark. But here's the leaked map. It is tower and the game mode is going to be a lot of teleporting. So it should be pretty fun. The roaming should be pretty intense when everyone's just warping around each other and disappearing. And this map looks really, really, really different. I mean, usually this map, I everyone hates this map, but this kind of looks interesting. It looks very futuristic. I definitely think it's going to be fun for sure. So a little map preview here is what we are getting from this leaker. So all we know right now is it's looking like it's going to be a two area secure area type game mode and you're going to be able to teleport around with a teleportation gadget. So that's really all we got. So it should be pretty spooky and the skins is what we can expect will probably be robots robots of some sort or some sort of futuristic thing i'm thinking we're gonna have some robots again some cool things so save up some renown save up some r6 credits whatever you want to do there to get some of these packs come august 4th so it's coming up pretty soon just a few days away from that and we will have this new game mode out which should be a good little change around at this point of the season everything starts getting stale so these little fun modes kind of make it a little bit more playable so i'm just going to let this little preview of this new game mode kind of play out if you guys like the leaks and new stuff that's been going on more around this channel. I'm trying to make it fast, concise. I know there's a few news channels, R6 leak channels, uh, stuff like that, but they just drag out their videos so long, so long, just make it extra, so extra. But I'm just going to try to keep it short, you know, try to keep it under that 10 minute mark because 10 minutes, everyone likes to make their videos over 10. But for leaking videos, like I don't need to talk 10 minutes about how Fuse's balances will affect the game and whatnot because it takes 20 seconds. Let me know how you feel about the new game mode and the new balances to the game. I know I didn't really go into too much depth about the balances, but they should be pretty good for the game. You know, just some simple ones, Fuse, Orcs, and Gridlock. The core three there, and I think they're on the right page. I think Siege, I think it's in a pretty good state right now. Even though the gadgets are so excessive, from a ranked player's perspective, I'm really enjoying Siege right now, so hopefully we can keep it up. And I'll be back with tips and tricks like we usually have on this channel and news if anything new comes out for next season. I don't expect too much new slash leak stuff to come out. This week is different because I have two coming out because this patch note came out really. Regardless if it's tips and tricks or if it's news, I'll see you in the next one. Whatever you follow me for, you'll find both here. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.